In this video I'm going to show you how to edit an existing template rather than having to save a new one and delete the old one. In this example I'm going to take the template that I've already created called Easton URI and I'm going to add something to it. To do so I'm going to go up to the file menu, click on file, and go down to the entry that says templates. Once I've clicked on this then a window appears that lists all of the templates available. Notice that in this case all of the private templates are also available because I've signed up as a administrator. Normally you will only see the public templates as well as the private templates that you have created yourself. In the template window I'm going to search for the template I have in mind and it will show up from the list. I highlight it on the list and down at the bottom there's the view button. Once I click view it's going to open the template into a progress note. As the progress note opens you'll notice that it changes from whatever patient I was in to a special patient. This is called T templates. This is an internal uh, eClinical patient which is used exclusively to make and edit templates. I am now in the template itself. The thing to keep in mind here is that I can add to or take away from or modify this template just like any other progress note. However, I am editing the live template right now, so whatever change I make is immediately effective. If I forgot where I was working and I deleted the whole template, the whole template is gone. There is no save button and there's no undelete or undo button. In this case, I'm going to add some comments on the assessment section. And here I'm going to add Tylenol is recommended. I can close this box and now that is added to my template. Now forevermore when I use the Easton URI template in any of my patients it will now include this new text. If I wanted to remove it, I'd simply remove it like taking something out of any other progress note. The thing to keep in mind is once you're done editing or modifying the template the way you want, you need to get out of that template. If you stay in the template and forget and perhaps think that you're on a regular patient note and you start modifying it, you are modifying the live template. So once you're done, it's recommended that you get out of the T templates special patient. You can do this by clicking any of the jelly beans. If you click away, you are now out of the template and your template is saved.